Fortunately, life-threatening skin rashes are rare. Most skin conditions cause uh, symptoms such as itching, uh, but do not cause uh, threat to life. There are some rare conditions that do, and I think uh, the ones that come to mind in a hospital setting are things like toxic epidermal necrolysis, which is known as TEN. And this is a condition where there's an exfoliative peeling of the entire body surface. And it can be triggered off by drugs, or it can be triggered off by otherwise common infections, but in some unlucky individuals, there's a strong immunological reaction, which leads to peeling of the skin. Also comes to mind is, of course, particularly in children, uh, meningitis. Uh, it's something that the lay public are more familiar with. Uh, this is a bacterial infection that manifests itself as a, a coppery rash uh, on the body or a macular papillary rash, which is somewhat like uh, a measles rash. And um, it, this can be a life-threatening condition unless treated uh, rapidly. And fortunately, there is a very effective treatment in the form of uh, penicillin, which has been around for over half a century. I think in both cases, it really depends on how much of the body surface is affected by the rash. So you should think that severe skin rashes are somewhat like having a burn. If large areas of the body are involved, then you're going to get systemic uh, problems such as loss of fluid, uh, thermo problems with thermoregulation, maintaining your body temperature, and possibly uh, secondary infection, which can be life-threatening in its own right. So that can happen to adults or children. In adults, the commonest cause of severe rashes, as I said, tends to be drugs. Uh, uh, prescribed drugs, medicated drugs, not recreational ones. Uh, and in children, it tends to be infections such as uh, meningococcus, but also occasionally streptococcus, which is a more common skin organism. In terms of serious skin rashes, the elderly are probably more susceptible because they have less ability to deal with the consequences of a widespread skin rash the consequences tend to be uh, caused by fluid loss and uh, regulation of temperature and regulation of uh, body, body fluids by the cardiac pump. Uh, and older people who have multiple comorbidities will struggle to uh, host a response to widespread skin inflammation. Uh, there's patients who are immunocompromised either because of um, uh, medic, uh, either because of an underlying medical disorder such as uh, leukemia or lymphoma uh, or because of prescribed drugs. So we use immunosuppressant drugs for a number of conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, and these patients are going to be more susceptible uh, to a um, infection uh, which causes skin symptoms. Uh, a third group, I suppose, is patients who are immunocompromised because of underlying uh, disease such as, uh, or, uh, such as HIV infection.